If you're watching this, you've probably already heard me talk about the benefits of keeping your sinuses and your sinus cavities free of not only infection, but congestion. Our sinuses are designed to filter the air we breathe, filter out dust particles, uh, fungal spores, bacteria, dirt, um, fumes. It, our sinuses are meant to filter these things out. And a lot of people have built up a lot more congestion in their sinuses, uh, a lot more dust, a lot more bacteria. Um, and so they can benefit from a procedure that flushes out your sinuses. That's the goal is just to flush them out, um, clean them out, refresh them uh, in a natural way uh, with virtually no side effects. And that can help uh, prevent you from needing to take lots and lots of antihistamines for allergies, um, certainly to need antibiotics to treat infections. We don't want to get to that point. So let me show you uh, what you need. There's three things you need to accomplish this. Um, the first is a portable nebulizer. People with asthma buy these. Um, it's got a plug in the back and it's got a mask. And people with asthma use this to not only deliver uh, moist air, which is uh, soothing to the respiratory passages, but they add medicine to it to open up the lungs. We're, you're not going to do that. Uh, but you can get this machine. It's about, you don't want to get a handheld one uh, that just runs through batteries. You want to get one that plugs in, okay? And I'll put a link to all of these items uh, below this video. So this is about $75. This is the biggest investment, but trust me, it is well worth it. So I'm just going to go plug it in. So the second thing you need is it's called normal saline. You can get this on Amazon. This is 1000 milliliters, one liter of USP normal saline. It's called normal saline because this is the exact concentration of salt water that uh, exists throughout your body. So this is just uh, salt water in just the right concentration um, that you get on Amazon. And this is the third item. There's only three things. Um, this is one gallon of hydrogen peroxide, but it's food grade hydrogen peroxide. And the difference between what you get in the pharmacy and food grade hydrogen peroxide is what you get in the pharmacy has chemicals in it in addition to hydrogen peroxide to keep it stable. And those chemicals are not healthy. So if you're going to put this inside your body, you want to get food grade hydrogen peroxide. Now this is the most important point. Um, you want to get 3% concentration, 3% hydrogen peroxide. It's the exact same percentage as what you get in the pharmacy. And we're going to dilute that. You don't want to get 6%, 10%, 20%, or 34% because that's toxic. So 3% food grade hydrogen peroxide. Now, this is how you mix it. If you're starting out, you put four parts, I'm sorry, you put four parts of salt water normal saline to one part of the 3% hydrogen peroxide. So one, two, three. Okay, so this is gonna be four to one. Four. to one. 
This is just 3% hydrogen peroxide. Not going to burn you. Okay. So that's 4 to 1. That gives you a concentration of not 3%. It gives you a concentration of 0.5%. 0.5%. That's the starting concentration if you're new to this, if you've never done this before. Um, that concentration, when you breathe it into your sinuses, will give you a little bit of tingle, okay, tingle, bordering on a little burny feeling. But trust me, 0.5% is very, very mild, okay? And then what you do is you take the mask and it's got a chamber And you take your 4 to 1, 0.5% mixture. It's got a little insert, insert. And then you put the cover back on. Okay, now we're ready. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to turn this on, and you should see mist coming out of the mask. Now, I don't know, I don't know if you can see the mist, but trust me, there's mist. Okay, so it's just bubbling through the peroxide solution. Now, I'm going to put it on, and I'm going to show you, just sit quietly for about six to eight minutes. Now. It's interesting, when you breathe it into your sinuses, it's tingly because it's killing off uh, overgrowth of bacteria and other organisms. If you breathe it into your lungs, there's no tingle at all. You can breathe it into your lungs, um, but your lungs are sterile. There's no bacteria. There shouldn't be bacteria down there. So because your lungs are sterile, this hydrogen peroxide turns into water, and oxygen, okay? So you're taking a little bit of water vapor and oxygen into your lungs. But it's interesting, when you breathe it into your nose, you're gonna feel tingling. And then you may sneeze after a couple of minutes. Um, and that's okay, that's good. That's your sinuses flushing out, okay? So it goes like this. Okay, now what's interesting, now that we're, we've gone seven minutes, eight minutes, what's interesting is that um, this solution is very, very mild to me because the next step up, which is what I usually do, is not uh, four, four to one, uh, it's three to one. When you do three to one, you go up to 0.75% peroxide. And at 0.75%, I get quite a bit of effervescence and uh, it makes me sneeze. It, it really flushes it out and, uh, and I feel great afterwards. And, uh, you know, my sore throats have gone away. Uh, any sinus congestion has gone away. Um, you can do this. Well, you should just do this based on your physician's guidance. Uh, some people might need to do this once a day, some people might need to do this once a week, some people might only need to do this if they kind of start to slide backwards. So um, I hope this has been helpful in getting you started and uh, I'll talk to you soon.